Okay, so I'm going to show you how to apply a workaround in order to install MSI files. And basically, for some odd reason, uh, with certain versions of Windows, you get this error message. It's a Windows installer error message. Okay, so what you need to do is, uh, there's two things you can do, um, and I'll show you. The first is open up Notepad, then type in MSI this one and save this as help install msi dot batch you can put this anywhere but I prefer to put on the desktop and then what you can do is just when you see a, uh, an msi file you can just drag and drop it onto the batch file they just made see and it runs the installation and let's try with another one node see however there's a problem because you can't do it with uh, this executable because there's a hidden MSI file inside of it and also it's not valid uh, okay so what you do is basically you run it double click on it wait for the error message to appear then you have to download a tool called um, every everything so download this then run it okay everything basically what this does it searches um, your whole your whole file system for a certain file and what we want to find is the hidden MSI file that was extracted to a temp folder so we just type in dot msi and then we expand it now double click on the date modified to get the latest version of the msi file that I found and it's this one so right click explore path now for some odd reason this one doesn't work because when you um, drag and drop it onto the file the help msi file that we just made doesn't work it gives you this error message so what you can do is open up notepad and uh, type in uh, start cmd save this as start cmd.bat which is a batch file okay let's exit this and basically you want to copy this program and put it in this current directory then uh, you know click on it so it launches the command prompt okay so now what you want to do is just type in msie forward slash i then the name of the program that ends with uh, dot msi so you can just say star dot msi then hit tap and then now it runs now you can install the program well, I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.